On today's episode of Identity, culinary entrepreneur Mukhal Sushwene pops by for coffee. We take part in Eid Milad Unabi celebrations in Drizik, Johannesburg. What's Happening features the review of a smoothie recipes app and a self-help website. And we wrap up the show with an inspirational anti-xenophobia track. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Good morning, Mzanti for sure viewers, and welcome to Identity, the multi-faith youth show that aims to add a dash of spiritual swag to your week. I'm your host, Viewer Kuala. Today marks World Hemophilia Day. Hemophilia is an inherited bleeding disorder that impairs the body's ability to control blood clotting, which helps stop bleeding when a blood vessel is broken. Supported by the World Federation of Hemophilia, this day was set aside to create awareness of the disorder, as well as to increase support for those living with the condition. As the Identity Team, it's our goal to bring you informative entertainment that leaves a positive mark in your life. Today's guest, insert and reviews are sure to do just that. But don't take my word for it. Sit back, relax and enjoy what we have in store for you. For starters, let's meet today's inspirational coffee shop guest. As a modern young woman, juggling a career, an education, as well as family life can be quite challenging. So much so that it often leaves very little time spent to perfecting culinary skills, especially when it comes to traditional South African cuisine. The young woman joining me for coffee today is surely an answer to every cosmopolitan woman's dream. Mikhail Sushwane is the founder of The Lazy Magodi, a company that offers cooking lessons to individuals or groups that want to learn how to put together authentic South African dishes. Definitely an interesting career choice and an interesting name for a company. And I can't wait to find out more about what's on this young woman's menu. Mikhail, welcome to Identity. Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Mikhail, let's start from the beginning. I want to find out about your childhood. What was it like? Um, so I grew up in a township um, just outside Bulugwani called Tuflup. Um, it's in Limpopo. I am a firstborn daughter of a pastor and a teacher. I have one little sister. Um, I grew up in a very warm home. So uh, food for me was everything. We were always cooking at my house. And um, one of my fondest memories is cooking with my mother, mm -hmm. cooking with my grandmother. So it makes very much sense for me to go that route right now. So being a pastor's child, you must have a rich um, menu of spirituality, if I can put it that way. What does spirituality mean to you and what role does it have in your life right now? Um, spirituality keeps me grounded. Um, I think in this very hard world, especially in the province that we live in, um, spirituality is, is the one place I can go to to find comfort. Um, when things are falling apart, that's, that's the one place I can always go to. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful to have grown up in such a spiritual home. Mm -hmm. And you started in a career in the finance sector. Yes. And then you, you moved on and you actually moved on to your cooking passion. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that journey. Uh, so I was always passionate about, about cooking. Okay. It was just never something I thought to turn into a career. I was very unhappy in corporate until a friend of mine who was getting married needed cooking lessons. And that's actually how the business started. After giving her cooking lessons and she recommended a few other people and it just kept snowballing mm -hmm. from there. Yeah. And I thought, why not turn this into a career? Uh -huh. yeah. And then you founded the Lazy Magoti, which is, has an interesting name. <laughs> why the name the Lazy Magoti? And what does it actually entail? Um, so the, the name the Lazy Magoti came about because that's what she was scared they'd be calling her. Okay. So she was scared her in-laws would tease and call her the Lazy <laughs> Magoti purely because she can't cook. Uh -huh. Hence the name the Lazy Magoti. So it's a witty, quirky um, take on the modern woman who is everything, who has a career and everything going for her. She just can't cook. <laughs> and you know, in African culture, if you can't yeah. cook, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the lazy Makoti. <laughs> but as an entrepreneur, you know, a young woman in business and especially pursuing your passion, which is cooking, what are the challenges and the difficulties that you face and how do you get over them? Um, 
the challenge is obviously trying to juggle everything mm. as a woman you try to be everything that's not always possible so that's one of the greatest challenges and i guess as a startup um trying to to stay afloat mm. um that's also one of the, the challenges but you learn as you go i think the, the most important thing is to remember that there is help out there mm. and to ask for it when you need it you're very passionate about women empowerment yeah. how do you contribute towards that aspect um, that's actually what I'm hoping will be the next phase of the Lazy Makoti, mm. trying to empower other women. I really have a strong belief that um, women, especially um, township women, I guess because I'm from the township, um, do so much. I think they are so powerful. Everything that they do on, on an everyday basis for everybody else, I think that power, if we harness it, then this country will go really far. Mm -hmm. And you're an astute young woman, you know, who's got bold ambitions. What characteristics do you think one needs to be able to pursue and actually succeed in their dreams? Uh, definitely determination mm -hmm. and the power to self-motivate. There will be times when it's hard and there is not necessarily a support system. Mm -hmm. So be able to self-motivate, mm -hmm. definitely. I'm sure there are a lot of viewers at home watching you and want to follow in your footsteps. What words of encouragement would you give them, especially, as you said, to young township girls? Um, I would say that believe in yourself. We are lucky enough to be living in, in a time when you can do almost anything. And um, so take advantage of that. There's so many avenues, there's so many places to go to look for help if you don't know where to start. So take advantage of them. The, 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 this time right now is so enabling, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. for a black young woman mm -hmm. to do stuff. So you really have no excuse. Now you teach individuals or groups of people how to perfect the culinary skills in African cuisines. Tell us about the health benefits of it. Um, so at the Lazy Makoti, we are a very big focus of ours is to preserve African culture, obviously through food. Mm -hmm. But how do we do that for the modern woman who is a bit more health conscious than her mother was? Um, so we try to do little things like um, substituting the normal cooking oil that we use for coconut oil that's mm -hmm. a more healthier oil, mm -hmm. uh, different kinds of t uh, cooking techniques. So instead of frying, maybe boiling and steaming mm -hmm. and those kind of healthier alternatives that still um, are true to the African food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you spoke about tradition and culture. Yes. Why is it important for you to bring it through with the use of cooking? So, so one of the things that we're trying to do with the Lazy Magoti is to help preserve our, our South African culture, obviously through our food. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm back at culinary school and one of the first things I noticed was we do a chapter on everybody's food, on French, on Italian, on Asian cuisine, but there's nothing in South Africa, in our own country, on our own food, wow. which I think is, is very sad. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the greatest things we're trying to do with the Lazy Magoti, in keeping our culture through our food, because I think culture is not just locked in in our language in the way that we dress um, in our songs but it's also in the food that we eat if if we lose that important part of our culture what's going to happen 20 years from now mm -hmm. it'll be like we were never here because there is no one to tell our food story mm -hmm. because nobody knows it sure so i'm putting you on the hot seat right now <laughs> since you put us in the kitchen of heat with your african cuisines okay. so we're going to play a quick word game and it's called choose my kid taylor all right and you need to choose one out of the two options are you ready i'm ready okay overdressed or underdressed uh over dubai or cape town cape town sushi or mohodu <laughs> mohodu weave or afro afro Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Makwenya or croissants? <laughs> croissants. Sneakers or heels? Uh, heels. Kevin Hart or Trevor Noah? Trevor. A home cooked meal or a three course, five star hotel dinner? Always a home cooked meal. <laughs> Mukha, thank you so much for joining us on Identity. Thank you so much for having me. While I jot down a few cooking tips from Khao, let's take a short break. When we come back, we head to Drizik in the south of Johannesburg for a celebration that honors the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And don't miss our media review segment, which features a green smoothie recipes app and a self-help website. See you in a moment. This is my identity.
This is my identity. Salamkela ku identity into the Tandra Kakulu Elizabeth and Kolo Eza Shukene Eolucha Kwanapa ku SAPC one Zanzi for sure. Tingu viewe kwala and kosmo kalanat. Our team recently accepted an invitation to attend an Eid Milad Unavi celebration hosted by the Savary Chisti Dawa Center in Drizak, south of Johannesburg. Honoring the birth and life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the event also coincided with an award ceremony for the youth who attend the Islamic Center in the township. Here are the highlights of our visit to this colorful and vibrant community. This is my identity. Assalamu alaikum identity viewers. I am Nguru Geawaku and I am your guest presenter today. Silana is a British Tower Center in Trizik. She is a celebrity Eid Miladul Nabi and Jalsa ceremony and ours. Please follow me. Maulana Ahmed Kololo. So Maulana Stolus explaining Gaban Zuguti. What is the significance of Eid al Milad al Nabi's celebration? Ama significance is why Eid al Milad al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amani ya kul. And amongst the least ya 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 importance ya yo. Ogo te Allah subhanahu wa taala ote e Quraning wale. Lakad manna ala al muaminina id baasa fihim rasula. Allah subhanahu wa taala says that Allah has favored the believers by rising amongst them a prophet of Allah. So therefore, to celebrate the Eid Milad al-Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam is to acknowledge that favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by coming out and celebrating that favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah says in Hadith al-Qudusi that laulaka lama khalaqtul aflaq that O oh Rasulullah, if it was not for you, I would have not created the entire creation. So therefore, by celebrating the Eid Milad al-Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam we are showing remorse and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for rising the Holy Prophet amongst us as the believers. So therefore it is one of the significances of this to, uh, to show gratitude to Allah, to show thanks to Allah for giving us such a prophet. Yeah. Malana, why do we start the celebration of Milad al Nabi in March? Se kala ngo March le celebration ya Eid Milad al Nabi sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam because it takes us back during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ngaleska tu Prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam akon kare e maka the time apin de le maka forty abantu ane beba pumile strate ne ba inzi March ba kola ba botala al badro alaihi na ukshogote ubuile forty umuntu eto umuntu ono Musa umuntu ono Mohau manje isunna tile into until is a generation wait. Lanang ino Sheri Yusuf Asikimo is supervisor at the Sabrichis Tower Center. Sheri Yusuf, as explain the government's goal celebration is going to change. Gune Charles, as explain the government's goal to you in the Gatli Charles. Okay, um, it Charles, so we cut the sign into this soon. Number one, Charles, it is actually. In his cut lesson, a sibonga abanto and aba performer last year. Normally, as he ends in Unyaga Mopela, but then what do you do is that following year, Nekut Friday, Uguzu go to Unkumunta Hambe, Aye in the Windsor, but then what do we do? We invite them towards the religion of peace. Then, since Ajan, we have a program, and a Siben Nama Awards, and a Si Agnolish, Alabantana Labo by Enzi and Anjani, God, good Mavilo Kias Anjani, these are your awards. So, a motivator Ganji, and we call the Entire community, so that they must come and see. We go to eat our center in Zaganja. Hafiz Mozambil to do the honors, inshallah. Who's feeling and judging about winning our what? I'm feeling proud as Usher Ahmed Ang Fundisile, like, and I had to come early so that I can get this award of the best behavior. And I'm, I'm also proud of my madrasa. Yimeno Yusuf Max Chilayolo lana. Yusuf Max Chilayolo stelu guti le awat lena iwino ngabanta banjani futu wena iwino ganjani. Lama otla iwino ngabanta ba helpful lugu bantu and ngabanta ba achieve ayo mna iwino guti ming ming achieve and ming respect ngabantu mingi helpful. So wena lama teaching the Islam law owa leni le lama dress stelu guti wena uwa chela ganjani abangan ba kufuwa tuwa implementa ganjani impile ni ako. I want to watch about Islam and by implementing and go to act in a good way, not in a good way, so that they can understand. The one you spend one week, the one 
We implement Aganjani teachings of Islam to your daily lives. As a former student of Isa Prichisti, uh, Nifundi say is in Tesning, uh, Waman Jinjangs, Utandu Kuluma, mostly about the respect. Bangfundi say respect, and I, from Lenta Bangfundi say zone, I have gone a long way from uh, uh, when I started uh, learning here in the center yeah. until now. All, all my life since in Nichoni Islam, I see good okay. Through irrespect, as in this thing is ever possible, because I want to respect her back seriously. The Islamic fund is irrespect from a parent to a teacher to the greater community. I'm told. Limina and the Langaleli, each house and the Minal Dunabi Gu and I'm Sanj. Nashugo Toki, Eid Miladunabi, or Lana si celebrated the birth of our Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Uktula Magobegui. Sibonga, into a sense of the zone, infundi soza, ki, Ugubago, Akeglum, Shabaguzes understand the easy into Nenzele right is Konu Koni Pavatala, Nente Ning, Jeng and Pilo. So, yeah, this day means a lot to me because we get to celebrate the, uh, the birth of our prophet. Jezakalagu identity team goes Vagashela, Lisa Bridges, Tita, our center, and I'm celebrator, Lelanga Lelim Nandi. Back to view a color studio. Research shows that spiritual and religious involvement is fundamental in achieving holistic well-being, especially within a community context. Thanks to Saburichi Sudawa Center for sharing their community story with us. If you have an inspiring community story as well, why not get in touch with us? Send a detailed email to identitytvshow at gmail.com and who knows, we just might be taking a short left to your hood soon. Let's go to the next Nasibuya singena ku spend setu sana mhlanje se what's happening. Esibona si app yokwenza i smoothie kwaye ne website eyokuzakha. Siyabuya kungekudala. This is my identity. This is my identity. You're watching Identity right here on the nation's number one channel, SAPC One. I'm your host, Viewer Kuala. If you've just joined us, take a look at what you missed. We kicked off the show with culinary entrepreneur Mokhal Sishwene. We then attended an Eid Milad Unabi celebration in Drizik, Johannesburg. But don't despair, you're just in time for this week's media review segment. This is What's Happening. Getting healthy has never been easier. What with countless handy apps to help you along on your health and fitness journey. Today's app is one you certainly must add to your collection. It's called Daily Green Smoothie Challenge. The Daily Green Smoothie Challenge app was designed to help you increase your daily fruit and vegetable intake by offering healthy, tasty smoothie recipes complete with ingredients, nutrition facts and health benefits. The homepage lists the suggested recipes for each day of the challenge. To customize the daily recipes according to your preference, select the Custom tab, pick which recipe you'd like to try on each day, and save. The app also offers a shopping planner option. This is a shopping list of the ingredients you'll need for the challenge, split into five day segments. Select the Add to Cart option and you can view your shopping list in the Shopping Cart tab listed according to recipe or, for your shopping convenience, by aisle. Ready to get blending? Select the Start Challenge tab and you're good to go. For some helpful hints and tips, click on the Guides tab for perfect smoothie tips, a substitution list, and to find out how the challenge works. Blend your way to a healthier diet with the Daily Green Smoothie Challenge app. Nanto ake inzela elula yoko ngeza is kamu kuinzelo kya ngai. Kukunsegle, ukmalekle yinondo numpefumlo onempilo njengo mzimba onempilo. Namsanje i website review uzo kunata usambulu legi. Yi www.healyourlife.com HealYourLife.com is an inspirational website that provides you with daily affirmations and meditations from personal development leaders. The homepage offers quick links to a selection of the latest and most popular articles and videos. Select the Daily Affirmations tab for a list of inspirational authors to choose from. The Daily Meditations tab offers detailed reading material to help encourage and give hope. For some inspirational reading material, Click the Articles tab and it gives you access to different topics such as spirituality, healing and emotional support. 
The Blogs tab offers more eye-opening reading. You can also get daily motivation sent straight to your inbox by selecting the Sign Up option. Work your way towards changing your life for the better by visiting www.healyourlife.com. Sifike ekkobele nkwenkubo yeti identity. Sikala luba nikwenga ntoni ngonu wendo letu na msanje. Iba niletu kwenye ne reviews zetu. Ukumana na atikulula. Sifuchani. Tumeli email ku identitytvshow at gmail.com. Sikwana na ku social media. Funa u identity tv show ku Facebook, ku Twitter na ku Instagram. In an effort to take a stand against xenophobia, a group of Durban-based artists got together and recorded a powerful song that shines the spotlight on this very important issue. Today we play out with this track called Dig a Little Deeper. From me, Fiwe Kuala and the Identity Team, may you have a blessed week. Goodbye. Times are tough. Dig a little deeper, dig.